okay as you will see at the end of the video I'm recording this after everything has been done we're gonna be working on this car on on the airbag systems so this is a warning and an advice if you are not sure of what you are doing uh, please don't do it don't touch airbags can be dangerous uh, I take no responsibility for anything that you do based on my information on what I'm be doing here if you do it do it at your own responsibility okay uh, so yeah that's just a, a quick warning and now let's gonna crack on with this video hi everybody all my followers be welcome to another video so I had to skip well I don't know which video is gonna go first but the 207 uh, is just over there can only see the front of it the part for it is over there unfortunately the owner is gonna have to take it away because I don't have the wheel nuts wheel nuts or wheel bolts locking key for it so I can't take the wheels out uh, I was looking to see if I could do the job without taking the wheels probably I could it would be an absolutely nightmare so I spoke with the owner and he's gonna take the car elsewhere uh, to remove uh, the the wheel bolts or the 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 security ones um yes i know there is some sort of uh, universal kits that you can buy that kind of fits different types of uh, uh security bolts i don't have nothing like that it's not my problem um he's going to try to sort that out uh, in the meantime so he's going to pick up the car very very shortly in the meantime we're going to work on these um uh, 2000 and let's go and have a look uh 2008 uh, BMW 320i, I believe this is the E90 or something like that. Um, and the problem with this is, uh, well, let me show you. Let me actually start the car. That's my problem. As you can see, uh, we have an uh, airbag light issue. Um, and um, yeah that's the problem with the car so as you can imagine the first thing we're going to do is scan the car okay main menu it's gonna to go to my airbag unit uh, that's gonna be most likely body let's kind of see what we have Okay, so, uh, oh, quite simple, quite straightforward, I guess. Uh, so, under voltage, that's a, a low battery. Uh, seat mat of passenger seat occupancy detector faulty. So, let me speak with the owner because, well, we're going to do a couple checks just before, just in case if he's a wiring problem uh, or if he's a sensor problem. Uh, most of you are already. Uh, saying out loud just fit a, uh, a emulator for the seat uh, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do let's gonna find out with the owner see what he wants to do but let's gonna do a couple checks first and then we'll go from there okay and the Pejo is back that was quick to take the wheels uh, the the bolts off um, anyway spoke with the owner of this car and I explained to him what the problem is with the passenger seat <laughs> Uh, although we can say we are bodging the system uh, the, we are really not because the airbags will still function so basically he wants to go the bypass route um, so the, 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 the occupancy sensor on there is mainly because if someone is um, um, on the passenger seat if the car detects that someone is in there he, he obviously shines the alarm for the seat belt and if you have an accident that airbag will deploy if someone is on the seat, if the car doesn't detect no one on this seat and you have an accident, the airbags will not deploy. If we go the bypass route, the, 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 what happens is, if they ever have an accident, even if someone is not on that seat, all the airbags will deploy. Because we're going to tell the car that there is someone on that seat all the time. Uh, as far as I'm aware. But... I'm not gonna go the bypass route anyway. I've never installed one of those bypass. Um, we're gonna try something slightly different here, uh, which 
we'll do the same thing really um, so just uh, stay tuned and we're gonna change tools and I'll show you what we are going to do okay and uh, after a couple of hours uh, well I've been doing other stuff but look at that all absent so we are going to clear the coats because the light will not go off until you clear the codes so let's gonna clear the codes okay so let's read the codes again no fault de detected my airbag light is off now we're gonna go back it's gonna go into live data so as you can see in there uh, front passenger seat occupancy detection passenger seat sensor and airbag active which means obviously the airbag uh, it is um, it's going to work regardless of someone on the seat or not uh, but the airbags will work and uh, that's what the owner wants to do so that's what we did now I haven't completed yet we're gonna have to still put everything back on um, but nevertheless I'll show you what I've done and before some of you are gonna start to shout that this could be done through coding Possibly I couldn't do it. Uh, the coding would fail every single time. Um, the car has been flashed in 2011. My uh, Dayton files for the NCS Expert are version 40, which is a quite old version to be honest. I'm now uh, downloading a version 52 or 62, something like that. So hopefully uh, it will give me a different, um, different. Uh, uh, options to code on the on the on the module but the module would just not take any coding uh, nevertheless the OC OC3 I, th I think it is uh, it was not active and was another couple of things for the sensor that were not active so I do have a feeling that someone already tried to deactivate this but obviously it didn't work uh, even because when I go underneath here uh, the sensor was already unplugged uh, it was unplugged no, 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 it was plugged, sorry, sorry about that, but the plug was not on this place, which is this little thing here, let me show you, the sense of the plug goes here on this little square, Mario. goes here on this little square, and this was just hanging off, and uh, the cable was slightly ripped, uh, pulled down, so someone has been here before me, and I believe someone coded these off, and it didn't work, so what I've decided to do was to, no, I haven't done an emulator, so as you can see, this is the original sensor, uh, and here these four traces is where the actually mat that goes then under the seat is connected. So I took these off, as you have seen in there. So I had to take all these off, uh, etc. Pull the the, the the base out uh, to uh, expose this and carry out, and then I've done this little circuitry here, which simulates the seat. Uh, with someone in there basically he sent he simulates the mat with someone in there so now rocket science guys is no more than four resistors as you can see um, this is how they are connected uh, so they are like a square so you have two 1k ohms one here one here then you jump these two with a 1k ohm actually these ones sorry I'm lying now this is 1k ohms this is supposed to be two. I didn't have a 2k ohm, so I put two 2.7 kilo ohms. So these two here on the sides, they are 2.7. But it's doing the work, so it doesn't really bother me. So 1k ohm here, then you jump these two with 2k ohms. And then from here, you take one wire to the first pin or to the first trace. Then from the other one, you take another one to the second trace and so forth. And this is always connected. So now that I, that I know is working, we are going to tie this up a little bit. So I'm not going to put this under the seat again. I'm going to somehow put this underneath here somehow. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to arrange this to look slightly better and put everything back on. And that's about it, really. So uh, I don't know yet how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to find a way, I guess. I don't know yet how, but we'll find a way. Let me see how we're gonna do this. Oh, very important guys, before I, I move on, obviously off camera, this is very important. Check that you have 
powering grounds here. So the way this sensor works, it does have a power and a ground and a lean bus. So the way this communicates with the airbag module is with a lean bus. So make sure uh, the first thing you want to do is check powers and grounds because if for any reason there's a broken wire and you don't have power and grounds, obviously this is not going to, it's not going to work. So the first thing I've done was make sure I had power and grounds. Is these three pins here? Okay. So the first pin I believe is ground. The second pin I believe is voltage, and the last pin. Uh, is a lean bus communication okay so make sure you have that uh, and then obviously only then move forward uh, if you don't have powering grounds make sure you get the powering ground sorted first before you go any forward so yeah so I've checked that off camera uh, I do apologize should have mentioned that but yeah I've checked that off camera and I did have powering grounds so let's gonna make this to look a little bit better and get this finished okay and I decided to pull these out again so this is the final result so what I've done is with the melted plastic glue, I've just did this setup. It doesn't look very good, but I decided that I would be putting it back where it belongs, which is right here. So I just pull this leather back and I'm gonna put it right here. So that's where I've cut the sensor. As you can see, the mat, there it is. That's the mat that comes under the seat. That used to be right there. So we're gonna put this in the same place. Hold on a second. There it is exactly where it belongs so we're gonna put everything back on now put the seat in place connect everything and do a final test okay everything's done um, I just have the maxis in there to show you something so for you guys that know a little bit about this you probably you were probably in the background saying haha that is not gonna work just yet well and it didn't because uh, from the moment you tell the car that someone is on the seat all the time the seat belt warning does not goes off until you buckle the seat, the, the, the belt. So that's another issue uh, So that we had to sort. Now, forget about it, try to short the, the, um, the contacts for the buckle or whatever. It doesn't work like that. Even I don't know exactly how it works. Um, I think there's a couple of ways I could do this, but the best way to do it, I could probably try to open this and switch this inside, the buckle here, open it and, and just trigger that inside all the time. At the plug, forget about it. The ECU sends a pulse voltage to the buckle. I'm not sure how it works. I didn't dig into it. And the reason why I didn't is because literally I've just coded the car, uh, uh, the airbag module, uh, I coded the module, uh, as if this contact does not exist. Uh, for that, I've used the Maxisys, but you can use NCS Expert if you want. And all you need to do is add J, sorry, uh, G K B F to the V O. In this case, is a, a keyword, a keyword or H O word, whatever that is. I'm going to show you. So H O word. So I have that one. I have the OL12 is for seat belt warning, as you might have seen, um, as you might have seen in there. The good thing with the, with the Max is it gives you a list of all the options. So uh, the belt contact, which is the first one, we disabled that, and we disabled the belt warning. I didn't really had to do that one because the contact is disabled, but I just did both uh, nice and quick. It's a little bit late. I've been busy with other stuff, and you do that on the Max is by coming down here, go there. And then press edit. You can do this with um, you can do this with the NCS expert if you want. So once that is done, uh, obviously the mat still needs to be there. So that's how we did it uh, for the seat belt, guys. If you don't have the Maxi Seas, uh, you can actually buy. Well, you can buy for the mat sensor as well. For the mat sensor as well, for the seat occupancy sensor, you can buy an emulator for both for the seat belt warning and for the mat uh, obviously i decided to do it this way so we triggered the sensor uh, we triggered the sensor at the at the mat module and uh, we coded the seat belt contact off and i'm going to start the car just to show you so the reason why the bonnet is open is because I, I had the battery charging Okay, so obviously it's on because my seat belt, I did not disable the driver seat belt. So I'm going to put the belt and you're going to see that goes off.
that's it problem solved um as i said at the beginning of the video uh guys if you do something like this be aware that uh, how the system is going to function as of now the owner was happy to do it this way that's the only reason we do it we are not really jeopardize the safety uh, in really any way because everything still works the way it should airbags will still deploy etc 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 so i think that's it for this video guys um and and that's it really um hope you enjoyed the video uh, oh uh, one quick thing guys just before i go when you uh, deactivate the contact you need to disable you need to unplug the wires for the contact so inside the plug i open the plug i pull the two wires that comes from the uh, airbag module um, i isolate them and i left them just inside the plug put everything back on so when you look underneath everything looks connected however the two wires that comes from the module they are disconnected if you leave them connected and you code that off at least i got an error i was still getting an error for the seat belt uh, buckle so once i disconnected that clear the codes obviously with the module coded and all the problems are solved uh, and yes yeah, so i was nearly forgetting that so yeah so guys hope you enjoyed the video hope there's some information here you can find useful um, if you have any questions any comments put them below and i can always thank you for watching